Hey you guys, what is going on? It is your girl Najwa. Thank you for joining my channel. Please do me a favor if you have not already, go ahead and click the like and subscribe button. Click the bell so you always know whenever I post a video. So we need to talk about Amber Heard. I want to talk about Amber Heard. Now, um, I think that Amber Heard is proof that toxic internet culture really exists. And I think that um, the fact that this world right now is full of a bunch of lonely, hateful muckers. Is it really exists? <laughs> and victim blaming really, really exists now. Um, so I have the unfortunate event of having really, really learned more of the details of Amber Heard's trial and of Meghan Markle and Prince Harry's debacle after the fact. I really, really wish that I kind of knew more about these people and knew more about this toxic internet culture at the time where these things were really, really in the, in, in the midst of, you know, under the fire. I really, really wish I did because I would have spoke up. So, um, I took a screenshot of something from, uh, there is a documentary on YouTube called Amber Heard is Innocent. And I, I wanted to read this to you. It says, no food for days, powders, half a bottle of whiskey, a thousand Red Bulls and vodkas, pills. Um, two bottles of, of champers on a plane. And what do you get? And I didn't screenshot the next one, but she basically says a crazy, angry Johnny Depp. That's what you get. Um, okay, so let's go and look at some of these pieces of evidence. So the first one comes from one of her best friends who testified during the trial. He said that Johnny Depp, Johnny Depp said to her, uh, said to him on often occasions, you know, he would disparage um, Amber's looks, you know, and her friend said she's gonna all she's got is her looks and, you know, she has no talent. And when her tits start to sag and her face gets wrinkly, nobody is going to be interested in her for anything. She's so. And she's. Oh, okay, and and she and so she she you know, but she's she better figure out another way to survive. This is the kind of things that her husband, the person that she vowed to spend the rest of her life with, said to her. So then here's another one where she says, um, "I tried to shove him back. I kind of felt myself retreat into the bedroom at some point. He picked up a large, I guess it's a magnum size, not a normal size." Uh, uh, or she said a magnum size, not a normal, a large size bottle of champagne and hurled it at me. This time it went through a painting and I love this painting, you know, but he hurled it at her. Another one, she says, um, he sort of chest bumped me and I fell to the floor. When I got back up, he kind of held me down by the shoulders, down on the side of the bed, kind of held me, wrestled me down on the bed. And I remember I got up once or twice before I ended up on the bed. Oh, my God, this makes me want to cry. And he grabbed me, did this thing that he did sometimes when he topped me, grabbing me by the pubic bone. That's so sad. As best I can describe it, it is as if uh, kind of just pushed me down, held me down, kind of pulled me into it and um, was asked, he, he was asking me and taunting me and asked me if I thought I was so tough. I think you're such a tough guy on, uh, or, okay, basically I think she's saying, he was taunting her saying you think that you're so tough. Oh, 
that's very, very hard to look at, guys. And anybody who doesn't understand that that's wrong, something is wrong with them. The tons of people who have vilified her and said that she was lying because she came out forthright with this stuff and she did not renege on anything. That, that These are the people who have something wrong with them. And so he, she says, oh, no, no. So this is her friend, the one who testified. Um, he says that Johnny Depp expressed to me that he wanted to get sober for Amber, that he didn't enjoy being sober. It wasn't fun and that it was distressing and exhausting and very hard to do. He didn't really, really want to do it. And he resented having to be sober. So you got a man here who is a drug addict and an alcoholic who has anger issues and you have uh, his wife who likely drinks and parties herself too, but nothing to the extent of what this man does because she's doing it out of fun and he's doing it trying to cover up some childhood stuff, trying to cover up some clear mental illness. And um, yeah, he's the one who gets put up on a pedestal. And, and you can tell that she has tried to help him. She sees you have a problem. Get sober, please. I'll try my best to help you, you know. And he resents her for that. He resents her for making him get better. So last pieces of evidence that I want to read. So she describes a point where she, he throws a phone at her. There's also another point where she describes being on the couch. He comes and hits her in the eye, pulls her up by her hair, yanks her around the room. Guys, I don't really need to read much more. You don't need to look at many more of the videos and dissect like a bad detective where she was lying. This woman was a victim of abuse. Guys, this is just a travesty. This is a travesty for men and women everywhere. And people, you need to try and be more emotionally intelligent, you know? And part of being emotionally intelligent starts with seeking out intellectual intelligence. Pick up a book. Please pick up a book. Please, please, please. And um, you know what? As I said, those of us out here who have to carry the torch of being woke, what people have vilified so much, being woke, we have to bear the brunt of that. But you know what? It pays off. It pays off because eventually the things in the dark come to the light and Amber Heard will be vindicated. She will be vindicated. Johnny Depp, I mean, this is, this is a system like many Many times before, a system propping up somebody who's not well. Someone who's not well. And um, we know the, how those situations end up. We know how those situations end up. So I really do hope that he gets the help that he needs. And I hope that at some point, when he does get sober... And he does have a sober mind and he's learned to love himself enough to really love others that he looks back at this. He goes and he tells Amber Heard, I am sorry. I am sorry for what I put you through. So I'm going to leave it at there, guys. Uh, please let me know what you think in the comments. I'll see you in the next video. Please remember to like, comment, and subscribe. This is your girl, Najwa. Click the bell so you know whenever I post a video. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.